And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And our pitcher tonight, Kyle Muller. <coughs> and Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with All right. it seems like Knock there's more out pressure. The he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, oh, this good one hit. high and deep. Good Way hit. Back there. And brings it in at the wall. Dang. We go to the bottom of the first. Now in for the Braves. Ozzie Albies. Ozzie Albies. And he lays down a punt. Yes, Bluey. He's in there. That's a fun way for them to start the game. Dansby Swanson stands in. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Dansby. Swanson. And that's a base hit. Just missed that one. Quick throw back in. Find Lead inch. runner holds it second with one gone. Chris Rocket up now for the Mets. Good contact guy, good defender. It's my hit, yep. Hang on. Rocket. Now a high fly ball out to left center. A junior there. Caught, I can tell. No apple. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. So up next for New York, Chris Rocket. Up next for the Mets, the first baseman, Chris Rocket. This one blasted deep to left, uh, way out of here, home run. A towering home run. Green. His yeah. latest homer in an incredible uh, yeah. season. And we are starting over. It's 3-3. Yep, Let's all, all gone. Yep, stack. I hit it all gone. And welcome back. And now the oh. first baseman, Chris. Well, oh, get down there and get it. The first baseman, Chris. Rocket. <laughs> Green block. And a pitch. And first oh, offering foul. is fouled off. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Hey. And now the lefty. And a foul ball left side. Hey. There's a swing and a drive. Go, go, go. And yes. this one oh is going to go. His second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 6 3. Yes. Zingy, he's been red hot. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. The first baseman, Chris. The pitch, Rocket. Here's the swing and a drive to left field, and he knew it. That homer. I touched His it. third home run of the game. It's <laughs> seven three. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 Stop. feet, according to Statcast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game. They can hit a baseball 462 feet. Well, a real nice yeah. performance out of the pen. This guy and is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Baseball fans and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. Name right, Tourist Park, which means we're in Atlanta.
just about to get started. Pitching in our game today, Sean Manai and singing it's unique these There's going to be no apple because we're not at home. Type of guy. We're in Atlanta. Yeah, but he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. Mm. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move and that goes right to the outfielder. I'm good quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Reyes makes the play. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in the score. And it's 1 0. Leave it. Chris Rocket <sighs> now at the plate. Good contact guy, good defender. Chris Rocket. Base hit. Weimer coming home. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the Leave sweet it. spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute... No, you're not stuck. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And the pitch. And there's a the ball. Come on, big guy, see it. Drive it right here. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Ball misses. Throw the second great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a dive and a stop at first. Throw to the pitcher, and very nicely done for the out. I love the fact that the pitcher didn't become a spectator on this play. Nice job by the first baseman to dive, get dirty, knock that Stump. ball down. And if the pitcher's not there, he's got nobody to flip it to. Excellent job by both those guys. Kicks and fires. This one lifted in the air, left field. O'Hearn makes the catch, and that'll do it. So up next, Chris Rocket. The batter, the first baseman, Chris Rocket. That one ripped. And in one hops the wall. Rocket into second, and he's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Francisco Lindor. All right, Francisco. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Come on, let's just go bring me home. He's trying for third. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Two away. To second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. Stop. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets three and the Braves two. Here is Matt Olson. So RBI stop. Spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have stop. a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Ground ball right side. Oh, great stop. Lindor, that's one. Throw is wide, and it gets past him at first. Well, they had the chance to turn it two right there. <coughs> we go to the eighth. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. The first baseman. Here comes the pitch. Rocket. Swings and fouls one off. The tying run at the plate. Fall off foul. Two. That's out to center field. Yeah, it's gonna be caught. There. Drops into the glove. And a quick out number one. And they're up by one run. Well, when you're on a seven-game losing streak, you've been both bad and unlucky. This win will be their reset button. I think now all of a sudden the ball will start to bounce their way. And before you know it, they'll be getting those breaks, and the other team will go home frustrated.
close one here today and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Just about set to go. Getting the nod in this one. Jose Buto and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows it. Now this That's ball good. is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a Dang. really nice catch. Chris Rocket digs in now. The top hitter in the National League entering the day. To the left side, oh. but it is well foul. Now this there one is go. hammered Perfect. way Come back on. there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. His latest homer in an incredible season. And it ties it up. It's 4-4. Four, four. Don't be hitting. Don't. Let's break out the stack cash Leave numbers. It. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. One gone runner at first. Next is the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. He's already homered in this game. Rocket. They'll expect a back and forth this entire homer. game. Third or better. Of how good the offenses are. That one drilled left field. Go, go, That's go, back go, there. go, 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 go. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to left. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 7-4. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics. And now the DH, Chris Rocket. Now that is designated hitter. Rocket. Nice warm day here Foul. for baseball weather. Does I'm that gone. change anything, Chris, What's all gone? especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so <laughs> so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about but getting that jammed on fastballs inside part of the play. Eh, that's a foul. Uh, Dang it. Kind of be more selective instead of just hey, looking fine, out fine, away fine. so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. This and now it's going to be out. <laughs> and Acuna able to make the grab. And that's the inning. Six, seven, eight, two. <clears throat> and it's forward position with two away. Chris Rocket up now for the Mets. Yeah. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one back. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Yeah, I get me a double. In that works. A run comes in on the play. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his back path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. And he walked him. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Now fly ball to right center. 
under it is a clue to make the grab. And that is Final Fine. score here today, 10-6. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Starting pitcher. Okay. About to get started here, and today's starter, Max Freed. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Bottom of the first. Ozzie. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. All right, Ozzy. Let's see what you got. Swing it back. kick the pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Here we go, guys. Let's go right to that high outer edge right there. Bam. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Righty to the plate. Inside edge. Stays Ooh. alive. He touched that one, didn't he? It's got inside edge in your blue. Your cool zone. Ooh. He touched it in your cool zone. See how okay. the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one down. So digging in, Batting Justin Dean. The left fielder, Justin Dean. Oh, First no, offering, no. misses the mark. Nice now warm day out. here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, you. getting jammed on fastballs on, inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Puts the squeeze on it, two away down. Batting third, the shortstop, Gensby. Munson. In there, and it's 0-1. Two as he waves at that one. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And a swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. And the Braves go down quietly. Scoreless after one. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. The right fielder. There's a strike. Oh, Love to see it. Power versus yeah. power right there. Uh, come on now. The pitch. Ooh. And a foul ball. Got a hold of that. And the right hander deals. Got him. And one out now. No, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him oh, up. Man. It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Outside, inside corner, top. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Bare hand grab over to first. On the money. Nice play. Very nice. Well done. And now the center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. This lineup's going to have to find a way yeah, to make him work RBIs. a little harder nice. out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. 
He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Bates it, settles under it. this my, one. My, my. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Quarter go to the break. Back at Truist Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, William Contreras. William Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded. He's got a six charge, to watch him. RBI. Control it's stuff sad. behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Rocket back to work. Late with the swing there. Yo one. Uh. I got one ball, one strike. Go out. Go right there. He right caught now. it behind his back. Gathers and throws, oh. and that's a great play for the out. That was nice. That caught it behind my back. Jalen Miller. Next up for the Braves. Jalen Miller. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. One out, one out. Comes up empty. Oh, That's good. strike two. You know, Booth, every team has a hitters meeting pregame. But this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Hmm. Got a hold of that one. Right here. One down, base is empty. Chop left side. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Two up, two down. Yes. And the batter now. Bo Phillip. Singh, you talked about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing at all. Right. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Kicks and deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the frame. Braves go down. Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the fourth. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Leading off for the Braves, the second baseman, Ozzy Albee. Ah, uh -huh, Ozzy's up again. All right, Ozzy. Try and, and pitch. get this, Ozzy. Swings and misses. One's the Strike one. Come on, fellas, let's go. Down in the corner. Down in the That's side in corner. There. there you go. Here. The wind is Hush. Big. Got him looking. And Hush. now one away. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever Hush. he wants with the baseball right now. Up next for Atlanta. Hush. The left fielder. Justin Dean. Next up for the Braves. I swear you're a pain in the butt. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Here's a strike. Next offer is ball. down low. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. The punch out there. Now two away. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he broke no, the strike out the side here. Make a little so statement, done. but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Now the you one. And that one pulled foul.
swing and a miss. Struck him out. Yeah, I got and it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. And a break. Bottom of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ron Mil Reyes. Ron Mil Reyes. The right fielder. Ron Mil Reyes. And he deals. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Wind in the pitch. Put it right there. <laughs> and a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. The Braves hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Stay inside. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. First time up was a pop-out. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Well, he is one of the best. One and two to count. R.L. Acuna Jr. is a good ball player. In game against me, not so much. One and two now on Acuna. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order, go the break. Bottom of the six, and here's the catcher, William Contreras. William Contreras. And here it comes. Now one finds a corner, and that's strike one. Who's the first here? Next off. <laughs> two now swag and a miss the velocity blasted it right past him just overmatched on that fastball right there and it wasn't now like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat just came right after him with three straight and he had no answer for it Miller in the box now no balls in a strike here we go guys let's go you one that one fouled off well, on the mound, very efficient. Hey, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's two strikeouts. So he's gotten deep into this game, <clears throat> and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Bo Phillip. Bo for one. Out. He struck out swinging last time. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Mm. Okay. I the curveball a little too much. Two down, nobody on. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Braves are set down one, two. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher Again. puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now 
Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight yes. at bat. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. One out now. Ah. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The Braves yeah, yet to pick up a hit ball. here. pitch oh. foul ball there going to now I think stays alive. catching everything I throw also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches got him down on strikes that's and he cute. knew it. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's Number been very seven. frugal today, Short economical block. with the pitch Can't count. Be. Swanson now at the plate oh, as he swings count. through strike one. The pitch. Swing and a That's miss. Oh, and no balls, two strikes. Hey, right. And a pitch. Go, and a Got swing him. and a miss. The hat trick. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down quickly here. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Ron Neil Reyes. Ron Neil Reyes. This hit. Ron Neil. And without my own name, Ron Neil Reyes. I'll go with this one. Hey, first pitch strike. Get ahead right here. I'll try that one. Rocket back to work. Slapped foul. Hey, no one down here. Yeah, the righty deals. Swings through that oh, one. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Here's the 0-2. Oh, and a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounced out Ooh. to short. Lindor handles Throw the chance. Lindor. One yes. up, one down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Matt Olson. Still a ways to go, but this is can't-miss stuff right there. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. And that one... Wrapped foul. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Yeah, it's time to go fastball now. And a pitch. Stays alive. Ooh. The Braves still looking for their first hit in this one. He ain't gonna get it either. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Acuna at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. All game long, he's really done a great job of keeping these hitters guessing. You've got to play with that front foot. He's done exactly that, keeping them off balance. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Got him. Down on strikes. And that is that. And the Braves go down quietly. They're down 4-0. Back here at the ballpark. So bottom of the ninth. And now it's William Contreras. William Contreras. 
He was late there, strike one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Let's make it going. Three. And down on strikes he goes. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And next is the designated hitter, Jalen Miller. Designated hitter, Jalen Miller. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Bam. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Ooh. Next offering is foul back. Fast shoot. Hey, just you and him. Game yourself. And he'll shoot. Swing Popped and a up. high get fly it, ball it, out it, there it, towards it, left it, field. Get it. You got it. Perez makes the catch. Two down. Perez, good job. Now back. And next for Atlanta, Three. Bo Phillip. Bo Phillip. Swag and a slow roller. Baden handles. The final out of the game and history here. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here no in the hitter. booth. I can only imagine what his teammates <clears throat> and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. The final line. <laughs> Zachary, Zachary. Coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. Yeah. Let's see. I'm in DH. Okay. So I'm gonna be hitting. This ball and every ball in this county. So almost ready to get underway. And towing the slab, David Peterson. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Next to hit, Chris Rocket. His righty lefty splits there. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. One away with a runner at third. Uh. Pulls that one foul. All right, so they're going to foul that way. Let's go swing this way. I'm saying no more this way. Oh, and two now. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And it's gone. Oh, man. This place is absolutely loving it. His latest homer in an incredible...
incredible season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. And stepping in for New York, Chris Rocket. He's been now such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Oh, this ball is gone. crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Up into the second deck. Apple, yeah. Crazy in the dugout, and they tack on to their lead. Apple, it's yeah, I got the apple. Don't, you only need don't one chew on that. Square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Apple, Let's apple, see yes. On the and now it's going to be Chris Rocket. Now the contact the guy, good defender. You ready to see Apple again? <laughs> you ready? Oh, oh, nope, not this time. Just gonna be a base hit. Nope, no Apple this time, just a base hit. No nummy. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying out. That's the end of it. Dang it. And now the Mets DH, Chris one. Rocket, for the fourth time tonight. The designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Here's a swing to gone. drive left field, and he knew it. <laughs> he blasts a souvenir into the second deck. That's his third home run of the game. It's 5-3. No, that was nice. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the New York Mets. First now, pitch coming your way Joel. next. Zachary. Just a little bit. Did you open that or... It away from first pitch and on the hill here today Brad Kelly and Singy it's unique these I mean, days but he's, he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy yeah but he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout he knows he needs to miss barrels get some soft contact let the defense do work Homer. This one blasts Zachary Apple out of here. Oh, Apple uh. Apple Apple run Homer and they Apple. Run. It's two nothing. He ambushed him right there. Oh, yep. yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And Back here at City Field, we head to the bottom of the second, and here is Chris Rocket. The first base he's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. 
Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. So he leaves the yard to left. His second home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 6-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He's so good at getting his arms extended. And that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball. All right. Devers now. Now batting. Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers. We're going to get it the ball. Ground ball right side could be two. Cronenworth nope. throws on to first. And Devers really? is set down. Could have gotten a double. Could have gotten a double. Man at first with one gone. Chris Rocket getting ready to hit. First base. Run around to goal. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And that's gone. Turn in, looking, and that one is gone. His third home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 8 nothing. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball. Man at first, at the plate. Chris Rocket. Good contact guy, good defender. Chris Rocket. Got off left side. Gutierrez gets his lead at first with nobody out. Rip, but it curls foul. Again early. Dang. Oh, there now this one's high and deep. Way back Got there. That. On its way. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add a pair. It's 11-3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop. Chris Rocket up now for the Mets. Now batting. First baseman, Chris Rocket. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. That one felt good. His fifth home run of the game. It's 13-3. Unreal. One out, base is right. empty. And here is Devers. Now batting. Devers again. The first what do, Devers? Left-hand hitter waits. Devers. On the ground, right side. Rocket takes it. it to the bag. And they're down to their Not last Devers. Out. Up next to Oakland. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. Uh, all right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the content of this YouTube only video, which will be on usual for my. I usually stream out to Twitch and then upload it to YouTube, but I decided to do a straight YouTube.
video today of some baseball. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, drop that like, hit that notification bell, and that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything of any direct to YouTube vets that I make or Twitch up to YouTube vets that I make. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, also check out my um, Facebook page. Shout out Killer 281 World on Facebook. But until the next one, guys, catch you later.